everybody welcome back to my channel this is billion ara and i am back with another great video for you um so i know it's been a little while uh this past month i was working on my clothing line that just dropped in november um so it's been like a little bit of a hectic past month for me um uh, just trying to like balance entrepreneur life and all that good stuff but not to worry i am back and we're going to have a great time today so um I know we're just coming off of the holidays, um, which I hope everybody enjoyed. And I just wanted to come to you guys and give you, you know, some great tips to start your year off um, right. I know that we've all probably had an interesting uh, 2020. So we just want to go into 2021 with, you know, a great attitude, positive mindset, all that good stuff. You know, our body's feeling right. We're feeling good. And, you know, just start the year off on a great note. So um, I have seven different ways, seven different, very easy ways that you can, you know, implement small changes into your life that might make a big difference for your year. Um, so we're going to just get right into it. Okay. Number one would be to change your eating habits a little bit. Um, you know, drink a lot more water, um, instead of maybe grabbing like an unhealthy snack, like chips or something like that. Cause I know I do it. I would say maybe you start leaning towards like, um, veggie snacks. Um, so just like sometimes what I would do is get cucumbers and I'll like cut them up and then put like tahini on them so good um that's a really great you know midday snack or whatever um and then like meat and cheese little um what am i trying to say like the adult lunchables like with the crackers and cheese and the meat those are really good and then they come with like the little uh chocolate covered nuts and stuff or like chocolate covered cranberries those those are great great snack right there so i would say doing something just as simple as that is a great idea um and then as well as like drinking more water like i said but what i would do um some days is get a one and a half liter bottle and um i would make sure that i would just drink that one bottle throughout the day and those are like pretty big so um that's a lot of water to consume throughout the day. And then I would just make sure I would finish it by like maybe 1, 2 p.m. So then I know that like throughout the day I've had enough water intake. Um, and then whatever else I drink besides that is extra. Um, you are going to be peeing all day. <laughs> but, you know, just something as simple as that. Like drinking so much water like helps your skin, um, you know, just helps your energy levels and everything. So that's definitely a great idea and something that I kind of... Um, would implement into my daily routine a little bit and i would say uh drink alkaline water as well um alkaline water has a 9.5 ph and um it's really good for like clearing any as ac acidity <laughs> any acidity that you may have um in your body and it also like restores your body's natural ph so that's a really good thing also maybe even doing like um not necessarily vegan because i know vegan is hard like i don't think i could live without cheese but <laughs> um i would say even like if you do maybe a vegetarian or a vegan meal maybe once or twice throughout the week that's definitely a good idea just so that um you're not always consuming like heavy meats um and then maybe or even trying like a pescatarian um diet would be good um maybe just not eating so much red meat if i don't know if you eat a lot of red meat but you know just trying to like change your diet in little small ways um just to put a little boost and like a pep in your step or whatever um but especially if you have been thinking about changing your eating habits lately i think the beginning of the year is definitely a great time to do that so that's a good suggestion. Um, number two, um, number two would be like adding vitamins and supplements um, into your day. Uh, I take a women's multivitamin um, every day. And you know, that just covers like the basics of everything that our bodies needs. Um, so that, um, that's like my 
my staple and then outside of that um i'll also take like zinc and vitamin d um just to help like boost your immune system a little bit and then those are something that um like we're not naturally what am i trying to say we're not naturally our bodies don't naturally have that so it's just good to boost those two um minerals for sure and especially with you know everything that's going around we want to have strong immune systems and we want to be at our best so um i would say definitely adding those vitamins and then also doing like supplements like um oil of oregano elderberry and sea moss so oil of oregano is a natural antibiotic which helps boost your immune immu immune system <laughs> it's a natural antibiotic that fights off bacteria and then it also can help you improve your gut health and like digestion so that's a plus elderberry is high in antioxidants and it also can reduce um, any cold or flu symptoms minimize that for you and it um, also fights harmful bacteria so definitely like i said with everything that's going around um that's another great immune system booster and then lastly sea moss it has 92 different minerals in it it does like so much it promotes good digestion um and then increases your metabolism as well as supports um healthy like skin hair and nails which you know we love and then helps reduce um cold and flu symptoms as well and um i know that sea moss is like a really um popular maybe is the word i want to use a really popular like mineral or what would you even call that i don't know a uh, supplement that's like going around right now so i would definitely say um invest in getting yourself some sea moss uh, so um the third thing that you can do is um make yourself a schedule um you know i had to get myself a planner especially lately i've kind of always used one but especially lately just having to time um uh, time manage really well and you know having so many things my mind is like constantly there's a hair here sorry uh, my mind is like constantly going just with ideas and just everything so i have really started to write a lot almost everything <laughs> right a lot of stuff down and like um like i said get yourself like a planner um especially for the new year you can like start planning out things that you have um and then like i said i started to write everything down even like stuff that is really small like walk the dog or like eat like you know just things like that and kind of putting it like in times and like giving myself kind of like time slots for this like i'm going to relax at this time i'm going to do this at this time so um i can keep really organized and then also feel like accomplished because after i like kind of like do something it feels like i'm checking stuff off of my to-do list so it helps me to feel productive throughout the day as well which is also a great thing um we all want to feel productive and like we're like accomplishing our goals so i would say a great way to do that is make yourself like a little to-do list throughout the day and um i'm not saying be rigid in your time frames of when you can and can't do something or when you want to do something but just um having that like time gives you like structure throughout your day and it helps you kind of stay on track and then it gives you um kind of like obligation to yourself as well because you're like oh i wanted to get this done i want to get this done like okay i have this to do so you know it gives you just a structure throughout your day and i think that's um definitely good for helping you stay on task and remembering you know your goals and what you want to accomplish so do that number four would be to exercise like i know everybody says that like oh start exercising at the beginning of the year but just like you know even if you only exercise like maybe two times a week at least you're getting active and at least you're like you know keeping your blood flowing and everything so um you know just keeping your energy high and all of that and then as well as like helping yourself get in shape and then that combined with your eating habits um if you're trying to lose weight that'll definitely help you obviously so it's always a good thing to just start exercising a little bit and i know with like the gyms closed um that's definitely hard but do not underestimate the power of home workouts like they're so effective and it's just what you put into it um you're going to get obviously you're going to get out what you put into it so as long as you're in the house like you know working your ass off you're going to get results um you can go to like ross um target uh, marshall's they all all those stores have like cheap 
home workout equipment. So you could get maybe like some um, 10 pound weights, some ankle weights, um, some resistance bands. Um, and I would definitely get the band, like the smaller one that goes around your thighs if you're trying to like grow a booty. That's a little, little secret, little tip right there. If you're trying to grow a booty, get you one of those bands because that is like a game changer for real. And then um, also, maybe even invest in a waist trainer if you're trying to like keep your midsection snatched girl get a waist trainer um and you know just do your research as far as like what will work for you um because they also have like the sweat bands that you can use um just to, like slim your waist as well um or maybe a combination of the two like a waist trainer that's like structured and going to like snatch you up and then another one that's going to help slim you down um just helping you sweat when you work out and stuff like that but um don't rely solely on your waist trainer but it's just a good in between when you don't i'm not gonna say don't feel like working out but when you you know you don't have time to work out or you don't want to work out that day you could just put on your waist trainer wear your waist trainer and like you'll still feel snatched at the end of the day not like you got a full workout in but yeah so um like i said definitely get those home workouts in and um do your research there's lots of different combinations of things that you can do um to kind of like target the areas that you want to sculpt or you want to like lose in and all that so definitely get some exercise in um, even if it's something as simple as going on a 20 minute walk around your neighborhood um and like you know walking at like a brisk speed so you build up a little like little uh like you're out of breath or something a little bit like you know as long as you're gonna move it that's a good thing because quarantine's got us all sitting on our booties and getting that quarantine 15 and you don't want to come out of here looking crazy so get your workouts in number five is going to be meditating slash making vision boards um so i would say that you know even if you get a 10 minutes in every day of meditation it's definitely going to make you feel more clear throughout your day you're going to have more of an intention about your day um you're going to be able to go through your day at, well not you, but this is what happens for me. <laughs> so um, I know that I feel clearer throughout the day and I feel more like, okay, I have a clear intention. I have, um, you know, a set goal for my day. This is my mindset. I'm in like a, a better state of mind when I meditate as opposed to when I don't. Um, and, you know, meditating doesn't mean exactly like just shutting off your mind completely and being quiet, but it's just being able to like focus on your breath and like be within yourself and just kind of like sit for a moment without so much chaos and distraction. Um, and I just use that as like a time like I said to myself like okay this 10 minutes I know that like I'm not gonna be distracted with what I have to do after this I'm not gonna be distracted with what I was doing before this I'm just gonna be in this present moment and kind of like relax and just take this time to myself and um, center myself so I think definitely I would implement um, just even if it's you do two to five minutes and just work your way up definitely just implement some meditation into your day and if you start to have other distracting thoughts while you're meditating it's totally fine but just make sure that you like return to your breath and don't let it like completely derail you from the fact that like uh, i'm supposed to be in the present moment and i'm supposed to be like centering myself so that's um definitely a suggestion that i would say um the next thing i would say would be like i said make vision boards um and that's just to help you like get kind of a goal of your year like you know where do you want to see yourself you know maybe in the middle of the year or at the end of the year um you know what types of things do you want to have what do you maybe want your life to look like it just gives you kind of like a trajectory and like a goal of like okay this is what i want my life to look like this is who i want to be these are the things i want to have it just gives you like a good mindset like i said we're trying to go into 2021 with like optimum mindset so you know just doing anything that kind of gets you into that mode of like thinking 
towards the future, thinking towards, you know, um, positivity and abundance. So number six is going to be self-care slash skincare. Um, develop a skincare routine. Uh, and it doesn't have to be super in-depth. It doesn't have to be six serums that you put on your face at night. Um, but just, you know, making sure that every night before you go to bed, you cleanse your face and then moisturize. Um, and, you know, or doing like a mask uh, once or twice a week. Um, just take care of your skin. Like, you know, we, I feel like we feel better when we look better. And I don't just mean like makeup or, you know, nails or, you know, certain things, eyelashes. I don't mean that, but I just mean like when we like look good, like skin, like we look like our hair is healthy. Like we look healthy. That's what I'm going for. When we look healthy, um, I feel like we feel the best, or at least I do. I don't know about you guys, but I feel the best when I look the best. When my skin is, like, glowing, I'm like, yes, like, okay, I feel good, you know? So, definitely just start taking care of your skin. Even if you get, like, a daily moisturizer, definitely get a daily moisturizer because you don't want to be walking around out here dry. So, um, even if you just get, like, a light serum that you could put on every day or something with some SPF in it um, to protect you from the sun, just get a daily moisturizer and make time for self-care. I don't mean just like bubble baths and glasses of wine. If that's what, you know, makes you happy and that's what your self-care is, then by all means do that. But that can't be like your only mode of self-care. Try writing, try journaling, just doing things that are going to genuinely make you feel good and make you feel like warm and fuzzy inside. If Going to get your nails done is a form of self-care for you. Like I said, by all means, do that. But just make sure that you are making time for yourself and making time to kind of like pamper and love on yourself for a little while. Whatever you're doing, make sure you just make some time for yourself. Um, also doing like small self-improvement things such as like teeth whitening. You can get a teeth whitening kit, kit from Amazon or something like that. And it's like small things like that will just make you feel better just within yourself. Okay, and so. the last suggestion that I have for you guys is to save money. Like, what, save money? Yes, save money. <laughs> um, so I say that a lot of people think saving money means you have to have 10 to $15,000 to like put away, and it really doesn't. It's as small as putting away like your $1 bills um, every couple days, you know, or if you get a $5 bill, saving a $5 bill, but it's just like, as long as you start saving, you can build on top of it. And it's like, you're always gonna feel good when you're like, oh yeah, I have that, you know, $200 over there for a rainy day. Like, it's just about having some kind of like security um, and a little bit of a safety net. But, you know, maybe, who knows, one day you will be putting $10,000 into your savings. But just start somewhere because you don't wanna look up, you know, two years from now and be like, dang, I don't have any money. But it's like, if I had just been saving my little $5 here, my little $3 here, my little $10 over here, I probably would have like, you know, $2,000. But like, it's just about starting somewhere. So just make sure that you guys are just saving a little bit of money. And then I would say another just little like size suggestion, get yourself an accountability partner. Get you somebody who is going to, you know, call you up at the end of the day like, hey girl, did you work out? Like, you know, and it's not somebody who's gonna be like on your ass all the time, but just somebody that's like, okay, I know that she's gonna call me later on and ask me, you know, what did I eat today? So let me make sure I eat like a little salad or something so I could tell her, oh yeah, I ate a salad. And like, you know, it's not that they have to pat you on the back every time you do something good because these are things that you should be doing, but it always feels good when you have somebody else there like cheering you on and telling you that you can do it when you call them and you say you want to get a cheeseburger and you should be eating something else. So, <laughs> you know, just making sure you have that friend and then like maybe you guys can start doing workouts together and start doing like skincare things together. Like there, it's always just good to like kind of have somebody else involved. Um, 
So definitely um, find an accountability partner. And also having an accountability partner will give you like a little bit more motivation too, because it's like, okay, I know that so-and-so is doing this with me, so I know I can do it. So, you know, it just gives you that sense of like, okay, I can do it, I can push through this, I can, I can get that workout done, or I can save this little $10, so at the end of the month, like we can talk about how much we saved, and you know, just things like that. So definitely a good idea so i hope you take these you know seven little suggestions and implement them into your um final days of 2020 so that we can go into 2021 feeling like our best selves and even do these things even past new year's you know like don't just do them to get ready for the new year implement them into your life so that it's just like normal it's normal for you to eat healthy it's normal for you to work out at this time on this day like you know just implement them into your routine so that it doesn't feel weird or like a hassle when you are doing these things um so let's get ready for 2021 let's be our best selves let's have fun let's be prosperous let's be successful and i'll see you there see you next time thank you for watching